and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Today I'm going to ask a question that no one seems to have asked for a long, long time. And to be honest, I think it's a question that needs to be asked. Now, if you fly FPV, you probably fly 5.8 gigahertz. It's the common frequency. It's very popular, very cheap, very small, very lightweight. Um, great frequency for FPV, for video, for video transmitters and receivers. And if you've bought a transmitter receiver or a set of goggles or something lately, you probably got a pair of these, or one of these anyway, one for your goggles, one for your video transmitter. And of course the first thing we generally do, seasoned uh, FPV flyers, the first thing they do is they throw these away. Because we all know that linear polarization, which is what this is, is inferior to circular polarization. We know because we've been told that if you use these you'll get dropouts, you'll get um, poor signal, you know, you won't get as much range and all that sort of stuff. But the question I'm going to ask you is, is that really true? Is it still true that these are inferior to something like uh, this little collection of antennas, circularly polarized antennas? Or is it a case that we've been duped? Have we been sold a pup? Have the manufacturers, have the marketers said, no, 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 you must throw these away and spend hard your hard-earned money on something like this or this or this you know a good circularly polarized antenna an omnidirectional for your model and a helical or not or a circularly polarized patch for your goggles you must spend money on these things is that really true i mean what is the difference i have not seen anyone really quantify the difference so today if there's a break in the weather we're going to go outside and i'm going to fly with these antennas and then i'm going to fly with circularly polarized antennas and we'll just compare the difference. And who knows, I may learn as much as you, because if there's one thing I do know, it is in the deeply mystical dark world of antenna technology, theory does not always play out in practice. And here's the craft I'm going to use for this test. It is a good old MXP 200, I think it is, 200, 220, I can't remember, but I've had this for years. Uh, Daniel at Xhover makes a really good frame. This has been so good to me. It's, it's not state-of-the-art, it's not super fast, it's not super powerful. It's kind of like that old sweater you've got. You know, the one that is just getting comfortable after 10 years. It's got holes in the arms, the elbows are worn out, the cat sleeps on it. It kind of smells funny, but oh, it's so comfortable. And the wife, the wife is always trying to throw it out. You've got to hide it, because if she catches it on its own, she will deal to it. She'll chop it up and put it in the rubbish. So, yeah, this is my comfy quad. I call it my comfy quad. And so I'm happy flying this. And if I lose the signal for whatever reason, I can fly it back with my eyes closed. It's I'm just so familiar with flying this little quad. It's got run cam split two in the front and it's got the lollipop on here at the moment. So for circular polarization, for those tests, I'm going to use the lollipop antenna on here and I'm going to use another lollipop on my goggles. And that's, I, we test diversity, so I'm going to put a um, pagoda on the other part of my goggles. So we'll have two circularly polarized omnidirectional antennas on my video glasses and a circularly polarized omnidirectional antenna on the quad. Then for the linear tests, I'm going to put a rubber ducky on there and I'm going to put two rubber duckies on my glasses. So we're not going to have any gain antennas involved here. It's all totally omnidirectional. So we're not going to be uh, skewing the results by having gain on one setup and not on the other. She's all omni to omni. So there we go. And of course, I'm going to fly first of all in front of the hangars here at the airfield because these hangars are made of steel and they reflect the signal. So we get a lot of multi-pathing. We get uh, terrible amounts of multi-pathing, which will really put this to the test. If these antennas are good at re with the circular polarization system reduces the amount of multi-pathing, we should get a much smoother, cleaner video from them than from the old linears. And then I think I'll take it down to the park and we'll fly through some trees and around sort of borderline areas and we'll just see what difference it is when you're really pushing the range or at least the effective range because you've got obstacles in the way we'll see how much difference there is between that circular setup and the linear setup so without further ado i guess again without further ado let's wait for the weather to break charge the batteries go out and see how this works out in practice <laughs>
Okay, now as you can probably see behind me, it has been raining. I managed to get the flights in, as you can see, before the rain came down, but we just had a crap spring this year. Uh, rain every day, every day, and now the place is all wet. So yeah, what about those flights? Well, you will have seen irrefutably that circularly polarized antennas are a whole lot better than non-circularly polarized. You could see, especially flying in front of the hangars, with the linear antenna there was a lot, a lot of uh, reflections, there was a lot of glitching, a lot of flashing on the screen, the picture was not very good, and also we it got noisier at, the lo at, at long distances, so there wasn't quite as much gain either. Well, not, let's just say the circularly polarized antennas worked much better than the linear antennas. Now in the park, in the park we had the same situation, there was a lot more flickering and when I got around behind the trees near the end there the linear antenna didn't give nearly so good a picture it was a lot snowier there, there just wasn't the same um, amount of signal there so yeah I think it's I don't think we've been sold a pup I think circular polarization really really does help now of course if you buy cheap circular polarized antennas you're going to get poor results it's the same with anything if you get crap you'll get crap results so if you're going to buy circularly polarized, make sure you buy something that's reasonably good. Now, I am quite impressed. I am quite impressed, I have to say, with those lollipop antennas. They are working really well. Um, in this test, we had lollipop for circular polarization. We had lollipop on the quad. We had lollipop on my goggles. And I also had a pagoda antenna. Now, the pagodas are very good because they have a, a very good axial ratio, as they're called, which means they, they're very circularly polarized. There's not much off polarization. Uh, so, yeah, what a great setup. And... Uh, the results were really impressive on the circularly polarized side of things. Linear, well, not so much. But if you can't afford circularly polarized antennas, there's no reason not to fly. If all you've got is linear, there's no reason not to fly. They do work, and they work pretty well. You know, I mean, I had no problem flying the quad in either of those situations with those antennas. It always looks worse in the DVR than it actually looks in the goggles. Uh, but um, yeah, so just fly what you've got. But if you can, get yourself some decent circularly polarized antennas. Now I'm going to do a follow-up to this video. I'm going to uh, do some fixed wing flying with circular and with linearly polarized. We've seen that when you're flying close to the ground, you're getting the Fresnel zone and you're getting bounces off objects, then we really do notice the difference between the two types of antennas. But what about when you're flying higher? What if you're a few hundred feet up in the sky and there's not so much reflection? What if you are flying further distances when really it's down to the ability of both antennas to uh, send and receive a signal? Do we get any difference then? In fact, I will be doing repeating tests. So we'll do it with linear and circular using fixed wing at longer distances and at higher altitudes. So that will be coming up soon when the rain stops. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching. Questions, comments in the usual place. And I apologize for the audio and the setup here, but I filmed that on the way home. So this is the summary. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.